It's a weeknight and you're starving to death and you want something quick, healthy, and delicious, right? Well, that's what we're gonna make today. We're gonna make some rice bowls. I'm gonna be making it with some eggs and some sausage, and this is gonna be very quick. I am making a homemade sauce that is just gonna bring everything together. You are gonna love the flavors, and like I said, it's healthy. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. What is brown and sticky? A stick. First, we're gonna start off by making this delicious harissa sauce, which is gonna tie the dish together. And we're gonna use harissa paste. It's a chili pepper paste, but it's not that spicy, so no worries there. And I got this at Trader Joe's. In my bowl here, I have some avocado mayo from Primal Kitchen. And to that, I'm adding a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste. Now here comes our harissa sauce. Now you can add anywhere from two teaspoons to two tablespoons. I went for two tablespoons. That tells you how mild it really is, but it's flavorful. I have ground cumin and garlic powder here. Here's a little pinch of salt, and I'll give this a little stir. Now I'm gonna zest one organic lemon here, and don't go too deep. One swipe and then rotate is perfect. Remember, it's always better to zest first and then juice. So I'm gonna cut this in half and then I'm gonna juice a little bit into my dressing. Give that lemon a little squeeze, just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. I have some very finely diced yellow onion here that I'm just gonna sprinkle in a couple tablespoons or so uh, into our mix. That's it for our uh, dressing here. We'll give it a nice little stir, and then I'm gonna place it into a mason jar, and anything left over can be used on sandwiches or any salads, anything you want. Before we get cooking, I wanna show you all the ingredients that are in this dish. Now, that you can sub in anything you want. I'm using cauliflower rice here I got at Trader Joe's. It comes in the frozen department, and love it. I'm also gonna add just a little bit of white rice, because that's how I like to do it. You could do all white rice if you want, but if you wanna cut carbs, add in some cauliflower rice. I also picked up some chicken sausage here. The ingredients are really clean, as you can see here. Since this sausage is already cooked, all we have to do is slice it up into little coins before we heat it up in a frying pan. I've got a couple of pasture-raised eggs here and some harissa sauce. I like adding just a little bit of Frank's Red Hot original sauce here, some avocado, some organic broccoli that I'm just gonna steam here. We're gonna get some greens in here by using a little bit of arugula, and we'll need some butter. Did you know that Kerrygold took their product off the market due to the PFAs in their packaging? PFAs are forever chemicals that just stay in our body, and so I'm happy to hear that they cleaned it up, and it's back on the shelves. So here's my setup for cooking. I have a double boiler here in the back where I'm gonna steam my broccoli, and I have two frying pans here, and we'll get started. I'm gonna place my sausage in the first pan, just put it in there. All we're doing here is heating this up, getting a little caramelization on the sausage. And in the second pan, I'm adding my package of cauliflower rice. Both of my pans are on medium heat. Now to the cauliflower rice, I'm adding just a little bit of regular white rice, just for the texture of it and a few carbs. It's important to season the different layers of your dish. So for the cauliflower rice here, I'm gonna be seasoning it with a little bit of salt and garlic powder. So heating up both the sausage and the rice shouldn't take more than five to seven minutes. Once your sausage is nice and browned up and hot, we'll go ahead and place it in a bowl and we'll cook our eggs in the same pan. Now at the same time, you're gonna keep track of your broccoli. You want it to be a nice bright green color, plus you want it to be fork tender, but not mushy. This needs another minute or so of cooking. Now that everything is done and pretty much ready to go, we're gonna start frying up our egg. We've got a little swirl of olive oil in the pan, plus a little pat of butter for some nice flavor. I have my pan here on kind of low, I would say. Crack your egg on the side of the pan and gently lay it into the pan without breaking the yolk. I like to pull the sides in a little bit with my spatula, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half so that I can flip one at a time. And I want the white part of the egg to turn opaque and not be clear. That's when I'm gonna turn it. So I'm gonna let this cook just a little bit longer, maybe a minute or two. Now get that spatula under the egg in one fell swoop and flip it over. Now that second one didn't turn over quite as nicely, but it still worked. 
Now I gauge doneness by how soft the yolks are. Now let's not forget a little salt and pepper for our eggs. This is about how I like mine. There's still a little tenderness there, so I'm ready to serve it up. Okay, it must be time for chef joke number two. Did you hear how they caught the great produce bandit? He stopped to take a leak. <laughs> First goes our cauliflower rice rice mixture. Put some of that in there. Then we'll add some of that sausage. Then add a bit of broccoli to that. Avocado in this is so good. Just make some slices into it in both directions and then just pop it out. I love avocado, so I put in a whole bunch. Now it is time for our harissa sauce, which ties this whole thing together. So go ahead and give it a stir first and then just blot it over all the way around. Next comes our arugula, so I'll just sprinkle some of that over the top, and then we'll finish it off with our egg and a few drops of Frank's hot sauce. Okay, so the big question is, how do we eat this? Well, the best way I have found is to cut up the egg and then just start mixing everything together, just so that everything is combined. That's just the best way. It gets all the dressing in there. It's really scrumptious. The flavors are truly amazing. I mean, you've got a lot of things going on here. It's a healthy, quick meal. This is the way to go when you want something delicious. And if you love salads, you're going to want to try my apple strawberry salad with lime dressing. Click the link on the screen. It'll take you right to it. This one is fantastic. I hope you enjoyed today's quick and easy and delicious recipe. If you did, you can let me know by smashing the old like button, all right? We'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.